Well, good afternoon, everybody. So I heard some Spanish a little bit earlier, but I want to teach you, everyone, a French phrase that I hold very dear to my heart. It's je me souviens. So I want you to repeat after me, word by word. Je, je me, me souviens. souviens. So je me souviens is actually the motto in Quebec City, in Canada. And this motto really encapsulates um, Senator Webby's favorite Marcus Garvey um, um, quote, which is, I will always remember my past, my ancestry, my lineage. Um, I'll always remember every single thing that I went through to bring me here in the present. Uh, knowledge, the lack of that knowledge really can't speak to the volume of the individual that I am today. It's really those past experiences, the triumph, the failure, the triumph, the roller coaster effect of life that really engineers us or engineered us to be who we are today. And so I want to share with you some of my je me souviens, my memories. I remember 15 years ago on my way to St. George's College, <laughs> SDGC in the house, yes. Um, and while I'm descending a, 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 a slope to head to the bus terminus, I saw about five gunmen coming towards me with guns in their hands. Then automatic reaction is that you're gonna, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna try and run away. Turn to the opposite direction, I saw way more gunmen coming towards me. Guns just start blazing like crazy. Bam, 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 bam. Here I am, 13 year old me, stuck in the middle of a gang feud. I literally dropped to the ground between a, a, a parked car and the curb of a sidewalk, praying for a gunshot not to hit me. And I said, look, this garrison living can't happen forever. I need to do something to change my circumstances. Didn't have much, didn't have any money. From a single parent family, my mother, seven of us, right? I am the wash belly, number seven. And I decided that the only resource that I had was the fact that my mother was doing every single thing she could, working three jobs, doing janitorial services, um, to send me to school. So that hunger that I had for food became that hunger and passion for education because that was my key to get out of Augustone. And so I did every single thing that I could to do my best. Became head boy at St. George's College. And in my final year at St. George's College, um, I did my SATs. Almost got a perfect SAT score. Um, I got into Columbia, Stanford, University of Pennsylvania, and five other Ivy League universities. And bam, my mother had a massive stroke. And I'm like, what am I going to do next? Am I going to go off and study overseas? The option was clear. I wasn't because they couldn't defer my scholarships, only my acceptances. And I decided to stay in Jamaica and take care of my mother because I can always go to university, but I can never get another mother. And I, denied, I turned down those opportunities and I stayed here. And I decided that I was going to take up an offer to study law at the University of the West Indies with zero dollars and zero cents. Smart me, right? At this time, I had to become a man. My first job was, at a was as a merchandiser at General Food Supermarket, where they sell Grace Kennedy products. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you walk into the soap aisle, remember me, because that was my aisle. I was responsible for that aisle. And I worked long hours, study law every single day, go to the supermarket. Then I got a, a job at the High Commission of Canada. And I would be at the High Commission of Canada in the days, and I would still go to the supermarket at night. But still, it wasn't sufficient. And I remember seven years ago, getting a letter from the registrar at the University of the West Indies that I'm going to be deregistered. Reached out to the Grace Kennedy Foundation. And Mrs. Caroline Mafood and her team came to my rescue and offered me a grant, cleared my tuition, and I advanced to Norman Manley Law School. So it's because of you, every single one of you sitting here right now, you've made that possible for me. Your passion, your determination, your drive to exceed and go over and beyond to excel in every single duty, job function that you're performing in the different companies owned by the group is really what has allowed the group to provide the millions of dollars to the foundation to help people like me. So my story is not unique. I represent so many young people who have gone before me, who are struggling right now, and, and who are just looking for something to believe in. And a lot of them are looking to the foundation to be that glimmer of hope 
to take them into the future so that they can live their lives, their realities, just like I am now living mine. Right now, I'm a third-year commercial attorney at Maya Fletcher and Gordon, one of the leading law firms in the Caribbean. And I never thought it was possible for the poor little boy from Augustone, one of the most dangerous communities in Jamaica, to be advising international banks local banks, international capital markets companies, local capital markets companies, being an integral part of mergers and acquisitions. Me, August Town? <laughs> but thanks to you, you've made it possible for me. And in closing, I just want to emphasize the importance of that, of the food banks. This initiative is extremely important because while I worked as a student, majority of my resources went towards my tuition and taking care of my mother who's ill who was ill at the time. And needless to say, not much went into my nutrition. Mm -hmm. And today, unfortunately, I'm paying the price for that. But fortunately, I have a job to help with the medical expenses. <laughs> but think about the fact that if you have students out there getting the assistance to help with their tuition, and also being able to go to a food bank, a grace bully beef <laughs> can go a far way, <laughs> right? Simply go to that food, food bank and have access to nutrition. You're saving lives. And you're also putting them in a position to have their jobs, making money, and turning that money into more money rather than paying bills. Thank you so much for having me.